Uh, oh, first off, wait, I'm jumping right into it. Hi, everyone. This is Sean of Full Steam here with Melissa and Lee of Durham Distillery and Conniption Gin. And um, I am getting a phone call right now, so I'm going to hit decline and uh, uh, and go back to our regular schedule of programming, which is you having the very first sip of the gin barrel age Pierre Delecto, not That's only good. gin barrel age, but Conniption Gin uh, barrel age. There's a great on the nose. Almost a little hint of floral too. Hint of what? Floral. Floral? Yeah. I'm surprised the citrus in the beer itself. Too. Ooh. Oh, it's nice and bright. Yeah, it's bright. Now they're getting this out of the tank, um, so the carbonation is a little lower. It's not quite ready to get on tap here. Yeah. So it almost like has a cask ale like yeah. quality to it. Carbonation is going to make that a little bit more yeah. prickly and come alive. But how? Mm. Here's a question for you. Are you getting, can you tell that this is uh, aged in conniption gin barrels? I can, it's, but it's not as forward, I think, as maybe I was wondering yeah. if it was gonna be. Like, it's the, it's almost the mid to, to the last part of the note. Uh-huh, yeah. I can get a little bit of that juniper, like that yeah. hair wave there. Yeah, it's really good, really good balance that you guys did. You get that little bit of like fried bread. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think that fuses well with the bergamot orange and uh, fennel and brown sugar. That's the base yeah, of the saison. Yes. That's yeah, what that's, is that's so good. Really, yeah. mm. That's great. That bitter orange is just lovely. Yeah. You know where those um, oranges came from? Where? New Jersey. Oh, the, I found them too. <laughs> the the weird. in New Jersey. Yeah. I know. I was thinking, oh, oranges. A, a friend of mine hooked me up with them, and I'm like, so are these? I know they're not like you know, the the South and all that, but were they like yeah. Sardinia or Sicily? New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey. I know, but they have, they have some really amazing- They movies. really do, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we were thinking about it, because we're trying to build the second barrel lo uh, botanical load right now. Mm. That's gonna be in Bordeaux. Hey, so I, I have a crazy thought, and that crazy thought is that this is a good uh, Saison for people who um, might not like gin, or might not think they like gin. Did I say that right? Yeah. Might think they don't oh, yeah, yeah. like. Yeah. yeah, we know those people. You've heard of them? <laughs> yeah. I'm not familiar with those people, for I do not associate with them. I like that. Yeah, but <laughs> um, this isn't this isn't a gin beer. This yeah. is um, beer with a layer of gin in a way that introduces the uh, uh, delicious kind of botanical and complex nature of, of gin. And I bet you you would agree to this, not to put words in your mouth, but people who don't like gin just haven't had good gin a lot of times. I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. 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 It's the ones that come to us that have had a bad gin experience. Yeah, like 10th grade raiding yeah, the parents' liquor Lots cabinet. Yeah. 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 That, that's, that, that was not my, that was my experience with rum. Yeah, I, I, uh, I uh, sorry, mom and dad. Uh, I, 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 yeah, you wondered why the rum was tasting very watery. That may have been me, but um, how, how did you drink that rum? What did you do? I, I had a very complex recipe. It was just called me opening the bottle and drinking it until oh, I felt, oh, felt, I yeah, something. something you have yeah, in your mind. yeah. It was, and then, and then of all things, banana liqueur. Oh. Wow. I know. Imagine, imagine if you drank too much of it, what your reaction would yeah. be. <laughs> hey, but let's talk about good liquor. Um, your conniption gin, how many medals has it won? And um, when you bring the medals in, do you have to reinforce the concrete because the it's so heavy? Oh yeah, yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no, I would like. Must be in thirty or forty. Both gins are yeah above thirty. Navy is the one that. And this navy variant was in these barrels. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, why you got more of those savory notes that now have carried into here versus the American dry, which has those fresh notes. Yeah, that's what's great about this beer is that the barrel was like so rich in flavor from the navy and the bourbon, and yeah. uh, that it's balanced perfectly in this uh, beer. Uh, and with the burger yeah. Nice. Excellent. Uh, real quick, and and we I don't mean to turn this into gin education, but okay. since I don't know. I'm, I suspect a lot of other, because I, I like gin. 
I really don't know the difference between Navy strength and American. American. Sure, yeah. And I know you get sick of just, no. but yeah, but tell us. Yeah, so would. American Dry is the one that's the 44%, which is 88 proof. And it is our, it is our gin that is for people who want to reintroduce themselves to the category or might be ones that are more towards a vodka drinker. And we're bringing them into a flavor profile that is just really approachable. So there's not as much juniper, it's not going to be like licking a pine tree, but what you get off of it is just a, a gorgeous sense of um, a little bit of pininess with then citrus notes off of our Indian coriander, and then the honeysuckle flowers and the cucumber come in on the back along with the citrus, which is orange. And it's just really lovely, very, very much our spring and summer driven mm. cocktail gin. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Navy Strength Gin, on the other hand, is 57% alcohol, 114 proof, and it only shares three botanicals with the American Dry. Oh, wow. It is a very different personality of gin, and a, a completely different strategy. So, yeah, yeah. you talk to the... Yeah, so the Navy Strength was always designed with the gin drinker in mind. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, like, like Melissa said, it's going to have like six times the juniper as the American Dry does. It came, basically came after it was a... It was a, an extreme version or a more well, no, like from the history. The, the formula is no, 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 not you oh, guys. Is this oh, yeah historically? Exactly. It was actually for the British Navy officers. Yeah. They would have the rations of gin while the crew would have rations of rum, and so when they took them on board the ship, it was actually a stronger proof. Okay. Because it would be less. Okay. Weight. Got as it. Well. And is that like? really the story or is that like a no, convenience really that is really yeah, the story because yeah, we have our like lore of like yeah, india yeah, pale yeah, ale yeah, and yeah. boats and yeah. hops and preservation and all that yeah yeah, yeah like the actual. yeah the other the urban legend is that the um, at, na at, at 57 percent al alcohol what navy strength is is the point at which the alcohol itself becomes flammable so the uh, urban legend around the navy strength yeah. is that if you keep it on the ship and it spills it doesn't render your gunpowder useless right like that. yeah yeah, that, yeah that's that the urban legend but yeah, it was rations. Wow. Uh, I love how we all kind of have in our industries yeah. these urban legends and stories yeah. that people pass along. And um, But it's good to know some of the history as well. Yeah. All right. Well, this is um, tasty. I'm enjoying it. I know I'm behind the camera. I'm over here. I'm this guy. Uh, but really, the focus is on Melissa and Lee and their uh, team who make these delicious uh, gins and more. Um, You've got your damn fine liqueurs. Yep. You've got uh, vodka as well. Yeah, cucumber vodka, and then hey, we're actually yeah. Yeah, we're gonna teasing. Yeah, we're gonna launch a new, another new flavor. A new flavor coming, out, so stay tuned. And since I'm gonna post this probably on Facebook, um, where I'll link. Where can people find out more? DurhamDistillery.com, yeah, right? Yeah. That's the best way. Yeah, and yeah. come to the Corpse Reviver the Bar, yeah. which, as we just discussed, is going to be open also on sundays so what six days a week it'll be open um right now it's uh thursday friday saturdays but we're oh, gonna okay. extend by the end of this month to sunday and monday great yeah. and with the distillery as well we started to reopen the tasting room slowly so you can come in on weekend fridays and saturdays for a quick tour, quick tour. and tasting uh, we're also starting to offer private tours. private tours again yeah, yeah. yay so we're slowly reopening yeah. in the neighborhood and um Being safe about it yeah Absolutely. Well, great. Uh, come join us. Join uh, join um, the Durham Distillery folks, and we'll see you in Durham. Bye, everyone.